Hey, we're Foles, and we're playing story time with cool accidents. If you come again. I had an on-stage injury recently when we were playing Glastonbury. I sliced my thumb. I think it's because I broke a string, not because I was playing guitar badly. During the second song, I was like, oh, I was like, oh, I was like something, something feels a bit bad, and then looked down, and it was just all this blood spraying all over my guitar. But there wasn't really much I could do about it, so I had to keep washing it off with water, and a bit of vodka is good as well. <laughs> uh, Culturise it. Yeah, and then you had to play through for like another hour, and um, by the end of it, I was absolutely covered in blood. I was in a uh, sort of punk band when I was about 16, and um, our first gig was 14 minutes long, and we had about 30 songs, and they were all literally 30 seconds long, and it was all like the, the fastest kind of like the fastest kind of punk music, and literally like. Yeah, we had to put covers in and stuff because we couldn't make it up to more than 14 minutes. I think on my first show, our drummer got kicked out for being underage, so we had to do an acoustic show instead. <laughs> it was fucking awful. <laughs> we played a gig in LA, and I think we basically, we were staying in Hollywood, and we had this um, hotel. We were along with like 20, 30 people that we'd either friends already or people we met at the gig. We just ended up going and um, breaking into the whole hotel swimming pool and having a massive party there. Um, I think we got away with that for about sort of an hour maybe before the security came and shut it down. Yeah. But I, I think we tried to stay at the same hotel like more recently and I think we got a letter saying we weren't allowed to no, ever stay. No, that's bullshit. No, they, they sent a letter, they were sent an email to our management company the next day after that party. Yeah. Because we went somewhere else in California yeah. to play a show. And they were like, just so you know, like, like your band was discovered like after at like 3 a.m. after <laughs> okay. scaling like a eight foot fence, which like had like a big drop either side of it. it was discovered in, in the in the hot tub with numerous bottles of hard liquor yeah. and some guests. And um, and they were like and then they proceeded to have another house put like a room party and they were like, you know, causing extreme con inconvenience to all the other guests in the hotel. But they were like, you know, it's good to know rock and roll still lives or something. <laughs> Me and Jimmy went on, um, I think we talked about this in the, the interview, we went to do Game of Thrones uh, as extras like earlier on last year. And I think that whole experience was probably like the biggest feeling of like starstruckness because it wasn't just about meeting one person, it was about like being at Winterfell and like the whole thing was just like really unusual to to, to, to see. You know, going to going to the loo and standing in the urinal between like two Dothraki guys that are like seven feet tall and you're just like, this is so surreal. Coachella years ago, was there was like one quite premium evening. We met like Danny DeVito, David Hasselhoff, Mac from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia and Mick Jones from The Clash. Two Door Cinema Club were there and their like publicist or something was just like, hey, do you guys want to meet like Mick Jones from The Clash? And I said to one or two doors in cinema club, I was like, well, can I pretend to be in your band so I can meet Mick Jones in the clash? So we did, and I stood like really nervously in their dressing room. It was like, they, he was there with big audio dynamite. And uh, like one of them was just like, because two doors cinema club were like talking to Mick Jones, and I just stood there really awkwardly, and there was just, someone was like, who the fuck's this? And um, one or two doors was just like, oh, this is, this is Jimmy from Falls. And then Mick Jones like shook my hand and then like pulled me, pulled me towards him. And then I started talking to him. And then like, and we smoked a joint. And about 40 minutes later, I realised everyone had left and I'd just been talking to Mick Jones. And he was really nice.